Drivers are accusing a council of profiteering from a bus lane camera that snaps more than 11,000 cars in 52 days. The drivers each got a £60 fine, but some say if the signs were clearer, they would have found an alternative route. The council insists the signs are adequate and that most people abide by the rules. Wesley Smith has been to check it out for himself. Ben Cheney is a man on a mission. This is the photo that earned him a ticket for entering a bus lane on Priory Queensway after a visit to Birmingham Children's Hospital. He says the signs weren't clear and he's making a personal record of other drivers to show the council what's gone wrong. I am in favour of uh, bus lanes, they serve a useful purpose, but this is entrapment. It is, it is wrongly signposted, inadequately signposted. A matter of interest is a car coming past as we speak now. He will now go into the system and either do a U-turn in a dangerous way or get a £60 fine. Now he's going to the wrong side in a one-way traffic system. He's going to come head on to a bus or something. It's totally dangerous. Mr Cheney made a freedom of information request and discovered that more than 11,000 motorists had been snapped over 52 days. That's an average of 222 drivers every day or around nine an hour. Mr Cheney is not the only one who's angry. There's insufficient signage and all it needs is another one. And all it needs is a proper big sign there, no cars allowed. As a black, a black cab driver, we, we used to use the bus lane, but now we can't. And a lot of taxi drivers, they go through the bus lane and they receive fines. No, I didn't know they changed it up so much after that. You know, I don't know where I'm going. Congratulations to Ben Cheney, my constituent. He's really drawn attention to a problem at this site. I've only got to stand here to see there is a problem at this site. And I think he's raised an issue to the council and now he's going to do something about it. Well, I've been filming here about an hour, and I have to say in that time I've lost count of the number of vehicles who've tried to go up the bus lane and will clearly get a £60 fine. One thing the council has conceded, though, is that there is a safety issue with cars trying to go the wrong way here, and they said they will install some freestanding no-entry signs. True to its word, the council installed those signs a short time later. But what about the other side of the road? Now here, as you see, there have got three vehicles all coming through together. If the signs were working, surely people wouldn't come through. I think it's a case a lot of time of other vehicles following vehicles who haven't seen the first, you know, following the first vehicle, haven't seen the signs. And here's another one I have to say. It, 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 there's clearly an issue that needs to be tackled right now. Yeah. But again, I'd point out the six signs here that some of them have been up for over 10 years saying that general traffic shouldn't be coming through here anyway. But isn't it time to actually make the signs even more visible in that case? And that's something we're looking at as part of doing the review. The council agreed to discuss Mr Genie's concerns and confirmed the review will take place in January. Wesley Smith, ITV News, Birmingham. That's going to make lots of people quite cross, isn't it? Yes, it's making me a little bit cross, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, you've been warned. Um, an aid worker.